Hello everyone, this is Chris and this is my channel Barn on 11970. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. And as usual, I got videos that are going to help make you think about things. I like to try and put things in a simpler way and in a way that people can see it in a different perspective. Sometimes when you put a picture behind it and a story behind something, it makes you see things in a different way. So it's it's something that I have been told I do well, so I want to continue to do that. And I'm going to show an example of how a belief system is basically irrelevant. And one of the reasons why we're controlled by a belief system, because whether you believe something or don't believe in something, you don't know. And the people who like to control things love people who believe or don't believe what they're told and programmed. And are familiar with. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you and your spouse, well, not even a spouse, let's say you and the person you're in a relationship with. So I don't know if this is a male or female, gay or straight or whatever. So just hypothetical situation, you and your mate that you've been dating for, let's say three years, everything is going wonderful. You go out to a bar and you're sitting at the bar with your mate and you're having drinks, having a great time, and you just have to get up and go to the bathroom. So you both have two drinks on the table or on the bar. You leave your drink there, and you go walk off to go to the bathroom. I happen to be sitting next to you guys. Don't know who you are. Just happen to be the next person at the next stool. See, so you get up and go to the bathroom, and I notice the person that you're with Pour something into your drink. Let's just assume it's poison. You don't know this happened. You go back and you sit down. And before you take a sip of your drink, I tap you on the shoulder and say, Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. You don't know me. But I just want to let you know I saw the person sitting next to you put something in your drink. Now, you could sit there and insult me. You can sit there and not believe me. You can sit there and attack me. Whatever you want. But if you drink that drink, will it not affect you? If that person really did put poison in there and all I was doing was trying to help you by alerting you to the dangers so you could look at me and say, I don't believe you. Why would that person do that? We're planning on getting married. We have no problems. There would be no reason for that person to do that. You're a liar. Get the hell out of here. Doesn't change the fact that if you take that drink, your belief system didn't save you. Now, when you look at things in that perspective, think about all the things we've learned in our lives, whether it's religion, whether it's history, whether it's economics, whether it's just whatever. Majority of our life has been being educated. It's a nice word for programming. What would you rather have? An education where you can be the smartest person and get a piece of paper called a certificate that claims that you can regurgitate the most stuff that they've programmed to you? Or would you rather have wisdom where you've learned through your own personal experience? And that is why they don't like people that research or to think differently or to make you think at all. Because they cannot control those people. So they label them as terrorists or tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists. When if you even look up the word conspiracy, it is nothing more than two or more people conspiring to do something. If you decided, hey, I like this video, I'm going to make my, my best friend and his two kids and my wife or husband watch this video all together, you've now conspired. Doesn't sound scary that way, does it? 
but the media is programmed to make you think of things like the apocalypse, which is nothing more than an unveiling. And conspiracy theorists, because they're crazy. That's why if somebody, for example, talks about 9-11, if you were to ever call a radio station, a TV station, a newspaper, and you try and talk to them logically about the simple fact that pure physics would eliminate towers free-falling at the speed of gravity, instead of them listening and saying, I hear your point, here's my counterpoint, they instantly attack your credibility because it shuts it off. And people do not like to be insulted. And trust me, I'm an expert at this on this channel. I'm numb to it at this point. I'm used to people that are going to come here just to try and hurt my feelings. A while ago, I used to let that happen. But again, like I've said, it's always a choice. Now, I can't stop somebody from doing what they want to do. But I can control how it affects me and how I let it affect me. Belief systems are irrelevant. Because it's basically nothing more than your opinion. Whether you believe in a God or don't believe in a God, you, you don't know if you're right or you're wrong. You're just basing it on the information that you've researched what gravitates to you because you will always get what you give. So if you don't believe in a God, you're always going to be attracted to things that show you and verify your truth. If you do believe in a God, you're going to keep getting information that verifies that particular truth. And you're going to disbelieve anything else because in your head, you've perceived there is a God, nothing can change that, or there isn't a God, nothing can change that. That is not an open mind. That's a closed mind. That's a controlled mind. Because even like the whole world is round, the world is flat. How many of you have physical proof that can prove of your own research, of your own video proof that the world is either flat or round? So all we can do is make the best guess and what resonates with us is, be, is what becomes part of our belief system. A lot of it is based on what we've been programmed since childhood. Because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Why do you think they say, get them while they're young? And a lot of things that we take for granted, because there's an old saying that says, repeat a lie long enough and becomes the truth. We get bombarded with the same thing over and over again, so we believe that is to be truth and the singularity of truth. When in the end, there are endless possibilities. It's all based on choice. But if they could scare you to choose nothing and do what they want, well, they've got your servitude, and they've got their slaves. But then again, you hear the word slave, you think only one kind of slave, don't you? Sadly, that's what they want you to think. So, I thank you guys for listening to yet another video of mine. And if you appreciate my thoughts and my ability to share, give it a thumbs up. Whether you believe in what I say or not, is irrelevant. It's just your choice based on your feelings. Somebody that doesn't like me, for whatever reason, is not going to believe anything I say. I could say the sky is blue. They'll call me crazy for it because they don't like me. So they're letting their feelings stop them from thinking in the correct way. It doesn't hurt me. It hurts them. And like I've said, it's a choice. And I hope you guys to choose to do the right things to help make this world a better place. And the first step is getting rid of your belief system and start knowing. You can't guarantee to know everything, but if you know one more thing today than you did yesterday, you're going in the right direction. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Chris. This is my channel, Barnon 11970 Have a great night, and I'll talk to you the next time. Peace.